Hey guys, this is Rebecca from Rebecca Inspires, and I decided to do a video of doing a tag. I've been trying to decide for a while on if I wanted to do a tag or a challenge for the first time on my channel, but I've been really caught up in fanfiction too. So I looked around and I realized there's no tags for fanfiction for people that are into fanfiction and stuff. So I decided why not create and combine the two that I like and create a fanfiction tag. So, to start this off, the first question for my fanfiction tag is my top OTP and why. My first OTP is, well, I have a top three, I guess you could say, possibly four. So it's kind of hard to just choose one. I like the Troner one, which is Connor and Troy. I think it's kind of cool to read about and other stuff. I also like Merther, which is a Merlin and Arthur from the... BBC one or BBC show for the Arthur and Mer Merlin stuff, and I also like Jasper, but I think of them more as a romance and stuff. So I like to read them for all the fluff and stuff like that, the adorable stuff, not so much the smutty stuff. And there's another fan fiction I know about, like OTP wise, but. It's not on one of my tops, and it's fan, which is Phil and Dan, but some of their fans kind of scare me, because they kind of write some creepy stuff. That's just my top OTPs right now. And next I'm going to tell you about my top three fan fictions writers, and the top three fan fiction stories that I like. The first one is a third, the third sug, which is a Zoella and Thatcher Joe fic, and it was entered into... Watsi's 2014 um, Wattpad competition, and the person that created it is called Media Girl 94, and she'll be she's a YouTuber too, like a really small one. So I'll provide the link in the descriptions for her fan fiction and for her YouTube. And I literally like the thing, the book that she wrote. She's working on in the process of writing the second story to this. She's thinking of making the trilogy, and I really like that she wrote. The story she did because it has to do with if Joe had another sister, like had a twin, that was behind the camera instead of wanting to be out in public. And it's just one point in the story you don't know who to ship and stuff because they have all sorts of different conflicts. And the girl's name is Alice and she goes by A. And it's just a lot of drama, but it ends up really good in the end. My second favorite fan fiction is. Playlist Live 2016 by We Are Tyler's People from Wattpad, and it's a really interesting story with lots of drama on what it could be like in 2016 for the Playlist Live for the YouTubers. There's lots of changes and stuff between the relationships, and then in the end, it turns out with a surprising end that no one would have, would have expected. And my third top favorite fanfiction is the Hidden Prince by Weeping Elm, which is on Archive of Our Own, and it's a really good story. It's based off of the characters of Merlin, but it's based in the nowadays, and it's based off of the characters, but it doesn't exactly have the same storyline. It's just he's a king, Arthur's a king, and in the story, they put Merlin as his younger brother that was in hiding, and they didn't know he still existed, and he also had epilepsy and stuff, so... It turns out to be a really good book. It's still in the process of being finished, but it's a really good book, so I think everyone should check it out. I'll provide all the links for the fan fictions that I'm reading in the description. My favorite Tumblr blog, because I go on Tumblr sometimes just for fan fiction stuff and other stuff. And my favorite Tumblr blogger is Con Con Savon, and she's really cool because she's a Toronto shipper, but she does it in a very decent and respectful way, and she always has people contacting her anonymously with different ideas or thoughts or just questions or anything and she always responds to them. So I thought that was so cool that she's always so active on Tumblr and so real with the people that follow her. And so I'll provide a link in the description for you guys to follow her. My favorite Twitter fan page is at Infinity Days and it's a person that follows Alfie and stuff and even he gave that person a shout out because she started some pretty cool um, trends on Twitter for him and there was also another one for Thatcher Joe 
there's a fan page. I can't remember the name of it, but whenever I find it, I'll put the link in the description for that fan because he or she or whoever it is always answers whenever Joe puts up some cool stuff. Like, he always seems to be the first one to answer, and he's really cool, or she. is a really cool person, and so those are my two favorite Twitter fan page people, and the last time I read fan fiction was yesterday, so, yay. Now I'm going to tell you about the time that I created my first, I want to call it fan art, because I haven't done fan art yet. My sisters have, and my first GIF is... People have been asking on like a video that I was watching for a while on for someone to make a GIF on Dan and Phil dancing and stuff because I thought it was really cool the way that they danced and stuff. So I made a GIF for those people, and then I found another video of Dan and his smiling and stuff, which is a real genuine smile. And so I captured that as a GIF, and I put those up right here, like right now. And finally, I'm going to answer why I like fanfiction so much. I like fanfiction because it's just like a tight-knit, very diverse family unit that's like all shared by the same interests. And I like that we can all be so diverse, and yet we can all come together to share in what we like. Sometimes just reading the stories makes you feel like maybe it is possible in my life to be able to have a life like this. And maybe it could be better. It also allows you to reach out whenever you feel alone in the universe, to be able to reach out to the other fanfiction follower people that sharing your interests, you realize whenever you're reading them, or watching videos, or on Tumblr, or anything, you're not alone. There are other people out there that like the same stuff you do, that you can become friends with. So I thought that's really cool that you have a family, internet family, I guess you could say. They will support you, and you'll support them through the fan stuff that you like. And finally, I'd like to tag others, and so I'll tag Meteor Girl 94 if she ever sees this, and pretty much anyone that wants to do this fan fiction tag can do it. Just please try to remember to say my name so that everyone knows that I'm the one that created this because I worked hard at trying to create this. So I hope you enjoyed my fan fiction tag. And I hope to see you guys soon. That's all for now at Rebecca Inspires. See you guys next week or sometime soon. And don't forget to go out there and live your life.